Hey guys, welcome back to another video on DDI Fishing. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys my top five spring baits. Um, I know it's been a while since we've uploaded, so I got to apologize for that, but we haven't really had any opportunities to fish, so um, we're going to be pretty soon. May 10th is bass opener, so we're going to get pumping out a lot of videos for you guys from there on. Um, but today I'm going to be showing you guys my top five spring baits, so let's get right into it. All right, guys, so for these top five baits that I'm going to go through, um, they're not any in any specific order. So for the first one, probably honestly my favorite, though, is Ned Rig um, T TRD. Pretty much any color. I think they're uh, two, two and three-fourths inches, so they're pretty small. But on just a little Ned, Ned Rig um, hook, I'll link everything down in the description below. The thing I love about the, the turds, uh, TRD, they stretch like crazy, so you can use them for 20 fish, even maybe 100, as long as you don't snap off. So that's my favorite in the spring. Pretty much anything, anything works, and they're really biting, but this is my go-to bait in the spring and even summer when the bite gets tough. All right, so for the second bait of the spring, I'm just going to talk more about uh, bed fishing. This I'm going to go with a craw for this one, for bed fishing. So white craw. They go white because um, it's a good way to be able to see your bait, especially when it's, the water's a little muddier. You're trying to find the uh, the beds and stuff. So you can see your lure really well and see where it is and see where the bass is. So pretty much any craw is really good for bed fishing. You can throw a lot of things, but I like throwing some br uh, like bright, like this, pink, something that really flashes or stands out in the water so you can see where it is relative to the fish. So that's what I would throw for bed fishing baits. Um, then maybe just like a little weight so it can get down pretty quick. And I don't know. If you want any tips, um, I have a couple of videos that I've made on uh, talking about this, and I'll leave it down in the description below, so go check those out. But that's my um, bed fishing lure slash hook um, for my second bait. So let's get into my third one. All right, so for the third one, this might be even like in Minnesota, we have a bass opener, but if you're like somewhere in Nebraska, maybe like somewhere down south or something, more up in the Midwest probably, Jerk bait is really good for when the ice just comes off. Um, they tend to bite it really well and reaction strikes. Um, this is a mega bass, so it's really expensive, but we use this in the river in the winter, but I don't know, I'm kind of scared of using it because it's 25 bucks, but really any jerk bait works as long as it's around this size, about five inches-ish, somewhere in that range. Um, jerk baits are really good, I mean, even the fall, so spring slash fall, jerk baits work really well for those time of years, um, but so my third bait, um, let's move on to a uh, tube. All right, guys, so for the fourth bait, the tube, like I just mentioned, um, this is Dylan Horner's, uh, other member of the DDI Fishing Fam. Uh, probably favorite bait in the springtime, it seems like, because he's always throwing it on a jube, uh, jig head, um, any, any color. Um, this is like a more of a natural color. You can go with a watermelon, uh, green pumpkin, all that works just on a tube jig head. Um, works really well all year, but most mostly in the spring. Um, so yeah, that's my fourth bait I would recommend to you guys in the spring. Uh, let's move on to the finesse jig head. All right, guys, so for the jig, I'm um, going with something kind of light, uh, uh, 3 16 ounce. I would have a craw in here. I don't have one with me, but if you're gonna get, if you're gonna use a finesse jig, I would put a like a craw, a small craw, a lot smaller than this, but something decently small, so it's more of a subtle presentation for those bass that might be a little finicky in the spring, maybe it's pre-spawn, but once they're in the spawn, uh, I really like this bait. It, they really go ham on it. Um, they tend to really bite it well in the, uh, when they're spawning and even post-spawn. But pre-spawn, this isn't the best bait, I would say. But I'd probably go with more of a jerk bait or Ned Rig. That's a better like pre-spawn, like kind of colder water bait. But So yeah, those are my five uh, top five spring baits uh, for you guys. So hope you guys have learned something in these on these in this video um you can tell your friends anything about it try and subscribe uh tell your friends to subscribe we're almost at a thousand subscribers we want to pre we appreciate all your support um make sure to comment down below what kind of video ideas you have in the near future um like this video we'll catch you guys in the episode